Good morning, everyone. It is 10 a.m. Thank you for joining us for the pre-proposal conference for the Louisiana Early Childhood Leaders Fellowship RFP opportunity. We are excited to share with you today uh, more about the RFP opportunity and also to um, take any initial questions, but all formal questions should be submitted in writing to receive an official response related to the RFP. So today we're gonna to provide an overview of the Louisiana Early Childhood Leaders Fellowship RFP. We're going to provide background on Louisiana's unified early childhood system. We're gonna highlight key components of our opportunity and we're going to review the timeline and next steps. The purpose of the conference is for proposals, proposers to obtain clarification on the requirements of the RFP and to receive answers to relevant questions. Some impromptu questions will be permitted during the, quest, the conference. These answers are not official and are not binding on LDE. All questions should be submitted in writing after the webinar to receive a binding answer within the period provided. Those answers will be added to the RFP as an addendum at the address on LAPAC. These questions should be sent to Karen Evans, the procurement manager at RFP underscore LDE at LA.gov according to the schedule of events. Next, we're gonna have an overview of the Louisiana Early Childhood Leaders Fellowship. The purpose of the RFP is to obtain competitive proposers who are interested in providing professional training for child care, director, child care directors in Louisiana. The LDOE desires to establish an Early Childhood Leaders Fellowship Program that prepares directors of type three child care centers with knowledge and skills to implement practices of instructional leadership in their programs. And also provides the agency with content that can be implemented by LDOE or its community partners beyond the contract period, in part or in whole, as desired. The purpose of the RFP, oh, excuse me, the schedule of events. So um, these are the events that are stated within the RFP document. The deadline for receiving any written inquiries is December 10th. We will respond to those inquiries by December 28th. All proposals are due on January 17th with an estimated contract execution date of March 1st and a desired program start date in late spring or early summer of 2019. Some background on Louisiana's unified early childhood system. So Louisiana's vision to achieving kindergarten readiness includes shared high standards for what children should learn and what excellent teaching looks like, teachers who are excellent at interacting with children and guiding learning, shared expectations for health, safety, and learning are consistent with adequate funding levels for the programs that serve children well, and families can easily enroll and choose the best option for their children. Louisiana's early childhood system since 2012. In 2012, we established an early childhood network in every community. A unified rating system connected to licensure. A coordinated enrollment and funding plan to empower family choice, teacher preparation and support, and centralized oversight at the state level. Gonna pause here and give everyone a time to read. Excuse me. Our unified, unified rating system is connected to licensure. We've fully established a statewide unified rating system to help families choose the best option for their children. In 2015, we launched a unified rating system 
to improve our systems with core elements needed for positive child outcomes that provided a clear and focused path to improvement and to give families an easy way to compare choices in their community. Our unified rating and improvement system has two core components. Number one, a rating system that relates to positive child outcomes as measured by class. And number two, information on classroom best practices. In 2016 and 17, incentives and consequences were connected for performance. So we have a system of tax credits and bonuses that have been realigned to reward performance and improvement. And programs that do not participate or fail to meet minimum standards may lose their licenses or funding. Type three or publicly funded programs. Um, child care directors come from a variety of educational backgrounds and a level of responsiveness has varied um, in response to this unified rating system. Some directors may be reliable in the class tool and use TeachStone provided tools to learn more on how quality teacher-child interactions should look. Or some directors may have participated in training that provides a basic level of information about the class tool. And we still have some directors who may not have participated in any trainings and have a limited understanding of their program rating. Bulletin 137 details requirements for type three center directors and is linked on page eight of the RFP. Through this accountability system, we have seen improvement. 8% more sites will be scored above the proficient threshold in the 2017-2018 year. This suggests that more children across the state are receiving quality care and education than in years past. The statewide average score for each program type has improved incrementally each year, resulting in more sites providing quality care and education for children. Directors as instructional leaders. Louisiana's focus on child outcomes requires that child care directors are prepared to lead their programs with knowledge and skills in instructional leadership. Directors who are instructional leaders possess a strong foundation of quality interactions with children in the classroom, developmentally appropriate curriculum and assessment practices, an understanding of adult learning styles, skills to coach teachers to grow and improve, creating and fostering a culture of teamwork, knowledge to provide a well-run program that is focused on educational outcomes for children. These leaders can impact the metrics that will be captured for this program, which include improved teacher-child interactions as measured by class, increased teacher satisfaction, and improved overall program quality. The goals of the RFP opportunity. LDOE seeks a vendor that will provide a mixed delivery program to pilot and expand what could be sustained beyond the contract period. The vendor will provide a program and content products that promote instructional leadership as a vision and practice, increase connectivity between child care directors that strengthens relationships, communities, and advocacy in early care and education, improve teacher-child interactions as measured by class before and after the program completion through ongoing implementation of instructional leadership guidance learned during the fellowship experience, and builds the state's capacity to deliver the program beyond the contract period by developing a sustainability plan and providing all materials needed for implementation of the fellowship. Key components of this fellowship program. As listed in section 1.9, the proposal response format. The proposal includes several parts. 
there are two parts of this RFP which must be addressed in all submitted proposals through the approach and methodology. Part one, proposal for the Early Childhood Leaders Fellowship. The responder will provide a detailed description of the program being proposed. Program designs must provide a scope and sequence of in-person fellowship sessions, job embedded coaching, and community of practice calls. These should include a focus on class, support for directors to observe and guide teachers to improve, and best practices in general childcare operations, and a preliminary plan for the pilot and expansion. Part two is a work plan for the project deliverables. The responder will describe their approach to project management and program implementation. The proposer will provide a preliminary plan for the pilot serving 30 directors and the expansion serving 60 directors. This portion of the application should describe the proposer's approach for the pilot and expansion, including general locations and plan for participant access, staffing information, a coaching model and a plan for supervision, fellow recruiting and participation plan, and benchmarks for measures of success for areas of evaluation. The proposer will provide a work plan for each of the four phases of work. Each of the four work plans should include the proposer's approach and plan for resources for meeting each of the deliverables requested for the particular phase within the deliverables chart. Include detailed procedures project plans or timelines, and expected costs for the deliverables. Describe relevant previous organizational work experience to complete any and all of the deliverables within each phase of the contract, and to work iteratively with partners, evaluators, and or staff on program development, and include the proposer's approach for quality assurance. The Early Childhood Leaders Fellowship rubric will evaluate the proposer's background in meeting the mandatory and desired qualifications, the quality of the scope and sequence of the program components in meeting the stated program benchmarks, and the feasibility and quality of the proposer's plan for project management for all phases of work. Proposers must receive a minimum score of 34 points, which is 50%, of the total available points in the technical categories of approach and methodology and experience and qualifications to be considered responsive to the RFP. Proposals not meeting the minimum score shall be rejected and not proceed to further cost or Louisiana Veteran and or Hudson Initiative evaluation. All program related costs should be included in the cost proposal. The proposer with the lowest total cost shall receive 20 points. Timeline and next steps. So currently we are open for receiving written inquiries. If you would like to submit an inquiry into the chat box, those that can be answered quickly and easily, we will address. Again, only our responses that are provided in writing as an addendum to the RFP will be considered official. Um, your deadline for submitting those questions is December 10th. We will issue responses to those inquiries by December 28th, and those will be an addendum to the RFP. And again, the deadline for receipt of the proposals is January 17th, with contract execution on or around March 1st, and a desired program start date in late spring or early summer. Oh, I see we have a question. What entities make up publicly funded programs? Thank you. So publicly funded early childhood programs in Louisiana are type three child care centers, preschools, and Head Start. Um, and preschools might be embedded within a school program. For this program, we are specifically targeting child care directors although 
We are open to um, innovation and creative approaches. We have another question. Will there only be one contract awarded? And that is currently the plan to only award one contract. Are there additional questions? This question is, what is the measure being used to assess teacher efficacy? We are currently using the class tool to measure the quality of teacher-child interactions. Um, we have an ancillary certificate program, which has specific benchmarks for teacher performance as well. Um, and more information about that can be found on the LDOE website. Is there a preference for in-state vendors? Um, insofar as our proposers can demonstrate an understanding of local communities and context, um, that's really our preference. We want to deliver a high quality um, experience for childcare directors, and that is our primary objective, but clearly an understanding and appreciation for um, our system in Louisiana, early childhood system, um, and Louisiana culture and appreciation for communities is very important. Is the state open to applicants who have an existing fellowship program, curriculum, or model rather than developing the content from scratch? Yes, we are open to those who have existing fellowship programs. Can you please clarify how many electronic copies of the proposal are required? Seems like there is a discrepancy between two sections. We will provide the response to that in writing. Thank you for pointing that out. On the face of it, I would say that four electronic flash versions are required. And we're asking for one copy with um, sensitive and confidential information, but I will clarify that in writing. Thank you. Has the department identified a budget for this work? Uh, we have an internal budget that we've identified, but that's not something we're sharing at this point. We're interested in seeing what's proposed. You're welcome. <laughs> will the vendor be responsible for administering class observations or will existing observations and data be used? Great question. So we are going to use our current class observation system um, to evaluate program quality. Any additional questions? All right, well, thank you very much for your, your time and interest. Again, please remit um, additional questions to the address within the RFP that's on the screen now and we will provide those responses to you as well as those that were covered um, here today. Have a great Monday. Thank you.